Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Galaxy. In this tutorial, we will go over the Paths tool. With this tool, we can create selections, shapes, and strokes with a more finite ability to edit their original points and curves. Let's get into it. First, I will select the Paths tool. To start a path, click on the canvas to create a point. To continue, we can create more points. To delete a point, simply select it and press delete or the back key on your keyboard. To continue where you left off, simply click the point where you want to begin from again, and then create more points. If we drag our mouse while creating a point, extra lines will protrude from the point. These are called handles. Adjusting these changes the curve of the corresponding path line. By selecting polygonal, we will only be able to create straight lines. But note that you can combine a non-polygonal and polygonal line in one path. To close a path, Hold Command on Mac or Control on a PC and click on the beginning point. After we have finalized our path, we can still go back and edit it. We have three different edit modes available. Design is the default and allows you to create and edit pre-existing points on your path and their handles. Edit allows you to add extra points and edit previous handles. Move simply moves your entire path. We can move multiple points at once by holding Shift and selecting each point we want to move. You can see the points are selected when they turn into an outline instead of a white circle. So this is selected as well over here. Then, if I click and drag one of the points, all others will move. You can also click on the lines between two points and drag it around. To create a selection from your path, simply press Enter on your keyboard or select Selection from Path in the Tool Options. Then I will fill this path with the Bucket Tool. Notice how our path lines disappeared, but the selection remains. To regain control of a path, navigate over to your Paths dialog, and click the eye next to the path you want to view you will then see a red outline. You can then edit this path again by selecting the Paths tool and clicking the path line that is visible. To clear the previous active selection, go up to Select, None. If we look under the previous option, Selection from Path, we have options to fill and stroke our path. Be sure to change your foreground color to your liking before using these options. Fill places color within the path, while Stroke places the color along the lines of the path. Both options offer extra adjustments that you can make before applying, such as using a pattern instead of a solid color, or adjusting how the line will look when stroked. And that's it. You now have mastered the pen tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.